All right. And we can, we can talk. So if you guys have any questions or uh, you, you, you know, you just need some insight into things like let's talk, Alex, if Alex is here, we can, we can bring him on or. Yeah. Whatever. So let me actually talk about the live trading video. That's going live tomorrow guys. So let's do it. starting tomorrow, I'm going to be releasing my $145,000 live trade on bed, bath and beyond. And this is kind of going to start our live trading series for MIC. So the first live trading video is a voiceover commentary of me making 145,000 on Bed Bath and Beyond. And I'm going to try uh, every week or every two weeks to release a new episode of the live trading series. Uh, and it's going to be for lifetime members. So the first episode is going to be free for everyone, YouTube, uh, monthly, annual, whatever. Uh, but going forward, it's going to be for lifetime members only. So I have about $260,000 worth of live trades recorded. I have one second. Let me just double check my spreadsheet. I have one sec. Dude, you guys have no idea how beneficial this is. Like, I seriously. The $145,000 trade ready. I have a $17,500 trade ready. And I have a $3,000 live trade ready. I have being edited right now, a $60,000 live trade, a $6,600 live trade, a $12,000 live trade, a $5,100 live trade, an $11,400 live trade, a $5,500 live trade. Uh, and in between those, I have three day trading vlogs. So I'm gonna try to release a new episode uh, every week or every two weeks. It just depends on how long the editing takes because I'm voiceovering pretty much all the videos. So. Yeah, that's you guys, dude. It. You you guys wanted the next step. This is it, dude. There is no better time to be a lifetime member, guys. If you have questions about lifetime or want to upgrade to see this uh, going forward on a regular bit, just DM me, um, and we can get you started. That you got to fill out the application, etc. You don't like if we've known you for a while, guys. Like obviously you've been in here a couple of years. I already know you don't have to fill out the application. That's usually for someone new getting to know them, etc. But um, it is good to do that as well, just to make it um, so we never miss an application. But I'm telling you, man, this is the next step. Like, Alex, that is so beneficial, dude. This this may be the best thing we ever done. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I'm gonna try to record as much as I can. Um, it's really hard because when I'm recording, I'm also trying to still help members and you know trade at the same time. But I know, bro, it's so hard. That's why honestly, it's taken us a really long time, guys, to get here is we don't just do things just to do we want it to be really good content like we want it to be good man so um hopefully you guys know that even in doing this it actually like can actually hinder alex's trading but but we're like dude members would really get a lot of use out of this so it's like we're trying it right it's yeah and i have 10 so far i have 10 examples recorded which is good um but i'm gonna try to keep recording more and in the meantime i'm gonna still be doing these uh day trading vlogs so what i'm thinking is I'll do the Bed Bath & Beyond trade this week, tomorrow oh, yeah. at 4 p.m. market time. Next week, I'll do a day trading vlog episode. Then the week after, I'll do a live trading video. But the live trading videos are going to be for lifetime members only. And, you know, yep. I have wins in there. I have losses in there. So uh, it's going to take some time. I don't want to release them all at once because it's just not fun that way. And I don't think people are going to watch it. Uh, so I'm going to try to release it as much as I can. But I have 10 examples so far. Uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Yeah, Alex, yeah. no nobody binges anymore, man. Disney Plus figured it out when they started releasing Mandalorian, bro. You gotta you gotta do it bi-weekly, bro. You gotta do it weekly. <laughs> and I think to be honest, the hundred forty five thousand dollar trade is gonna be uh very, very, very it's informative and it's gonna kind of blow your mind how simple it can be if we have a plan in there. So that's going to be tomorrow at 4 p.m. market time. That's going to be, I'm telling you guys, it's going to be, it's going to blow your mind. It's funny that you just said that, Alex, how, how simple it's going to be. In fact, it's actually going to probably really bluntly, guys, actually take some of this like Alex on a pedestal or big P&Ls on a pedestal and kind of take them down a little bit. You guys are going to see that this is not unachieved. Like, it's not like you can't achieve this. This is very achievable stuff. It's just Alex may have hit harder on an exact line, like I said earlier, that you have hit. So like you guys can take down this, like anything that you have on a pedestal and watch these and go, oh my God, maybe I actually can fucking do that one day. You know, or if and, I keep and, going. And then you'll see the day trading vlogs of me actually executing some of these trades. Bro, that's what I'm saying. Like now you'll see our, our cameraman, George, actually filming Alex and talking to him while he's doing it. 
It's yeah, like- so it's exciting stuff, guys, because the truth is the educational stuff, although it provides massive value and although you guys can learn a lot, no one really cares. Uh, no one's really listening. So for those that want to take it seriously, there's going to be a lot of trades now that literally like, bro, these, like I have, okay, so let me, let me just see. So one of them is shorting pre-market after the top is set. One of them is shorting a large cap stock into resistance. One of them is an ATM stock that I shorted. One of them is a reverse split stock. One of them is a pump and dump. One of them is uh, how to make money on a slow trading day. Um, how to make 34% return in 34 minutes. Um, death candle, low hanging fruit and shorting broken stocks on a bounce. So pretty much the things that we do every single day, there's now going to be a live trading example. And I'm sure there's going to be multiple examples of the same setup, but I mean, it's never really been a better time to be a lifetime member. And you guys have been asking for a while, just it takes a long ass time, man. Yeah, it really does. And, and again, guys, I, I, I cannot say this enough. Anything of an idea that maybe it's been Alex, maybe it's been BNL, maybe it's been you as a trader, you've put on a pedestal. This is going to take it down and show you that it is achievable because you don't want to have anything on a pedestal. You don't want to have a girl on a pedestal, a guy on a pedestal, a career, uh, something that you don't, because when it's on a pedestal, you don't think you can achieve it. You think it's godly. You think it's a deity. Guys, Alex is going to show you how clear cut this shit is. In fact, Alex, I have a funny story for you. Our camera guy, um, who's a dear friend of all of us, uh, Alex, myself, um, who shoots the vlogs. He is like over the shoulder as he's filming, seeing how easy it is for Alex to do what he does or how at least how simple. And bro, he texted me the other day. He's like, dude, I finally need to start learning this shit. Like give me a mentorship call. I was like, I got you, bro. So, so that's what we're talking Guys, when the cameraman is wanting to learn how simple Alex is making it look, think about when you watch these. And it's funny because the cameraman recording the vlogs is actually, he watched the accelerator, Joe. Uh, he's been paper trading for two weeks and I'm sure you're going to watch his journey of uh, how he's trying to get to becoming a consistently profitable trader because, bro, everyone deals with the same problems every single time. You know? 100%. <laughs> yeah, see, now we're going to do vlogs on the cameraman that filmed us as our cameraman. <laughs> yeah, well, is... I'm going to try to get as much episodes out of this live trading series as I can. 260,000 of live trades is pretty good to start. I want to try to get to half a million, but as you guys know, the market sucks, so it's really hard, but even if I run out of footage in the short term, I'm just going to keep recording and recording and recording. So I'm going to try to keep it consistent, you know, every other week, every week. But if there's like a two week period where there's nothing, uh, just keep in mind that I'm still recording. I'm still trying to get this stuff done. Alex, talk to us about this market right now, bro. Last week, I think after the MIC ESPN highlights, I think it came out to about almost 14,000. Um, this week's, this week's different, dude. What do you, what are your thoughts? What do you think? This week might be 1400, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's, what, that's what I'm saying, dude. <laughs> I mean, there's no, there's no easy way to say it. It, it. A lot of people say that, oh, the market's going down. Shorts are making a lot of money, blah, blah, blah. But the truth of the matter is that shorts make money in a bull market because the moves are so exaggerated. And because the entire overall market has just been straight down, people have not been speculating, AKA gambling on small cap stocks, which means that there hasn't really been um, much of an edge lately. So we just right. been kind of, you know, chugging along, you know, it just sucks. Everyone wants to make money, but like, there's really no money to be made in this current market cycle, which sucks, but it's what we're doing. That's what we're well, doing. And, and I think, I think, you know, that the person who doesn't really want to do this as a career and then just comes in is like, I just want to make some quick cash. They hear that stuff and they bounce. Maybe they, maybe they're like, okay, I don't want to join MIC. The market's not good right now. Guys, that don't be that trader. Just because it's a market that's a little bit slow right now, you know that at any day of any time, the Fed gets start printing, the market goes up, and then small caps follow, et cetera, et cetera, and we get runners and black swans. At any time, anything can happen. So why not learn now? You actually have more time to watch Alex's live trades than you do last week or maybe the week before or maybe if crack week comes again. You know what I mean? So, I'm telling you, man, these live trades, I think, I think it's what the missing piece is for a lot of traders. Cause I think they're going to start to see like, okay, when I say shorting into resistance, what the hell does that actually mean? Yeah. If there's a death candle. How can you see me and react to that death candle? And again, there's going to be wins and losses. And exactly like Chuck said, if you could survive now, you will thrive when it turns. So our job as traders in this market is just to stay alive. Because I'm telling you, you guys can see it. 
There used to be hundreds of people, thousands of people watching these videos, thousands of people, um, you know, participating. Yeah. And now no one is because the market is the most hated thing in the world. So because the most hated thing in the world, that's fine. But when the cycle changes, because everything moves in cycles, uh, you bet if you could thrive in this market, I'm telling you, when the market gets easier, you're going to be sitting back with your feet up, you know? Dude, a hundred percent. And I, and it's, and it's funny that Alex said that, cause this is such a good mindset for you guys to incorporate and not be chicken little. The sky is falling. Everything is doing guys markets change. We will have a bull market again, just for the last 120 years. The spy goes down, the spy goes up, the spy goes down. We are in a time where, yeah, it's a little rough. I mean, you look at your long-term portfolios on the long side of really good companies and me and Alex are like, well, fuck that sucks. Thanks. You know, whoever dropped this market, but when you have resilience when you have patience when you have the determination to know that i'm going to be prepared at the time of change whenever it comes that is what we do we're not doing this for a year we're doing this until we die or at least alex and i are hopefully a lot of you guys are too but you can build a full-fledged career out of this so why not learn as much as you can now when it's a little bit of calm still waters you know there's not there's not crazy amount of sales out there for, you know, or yeah, when did you yeah, sell? The thing is guys, like it's, it's just a matter of being patient and reminding yourselves that in this current market cycle, in this cycle, your job is not to make money. Your job is to stay alive. So stop trying to judge yourself. If you're making money or not judge yourself, if you're literally able to stay alive, because I've been doing this, I'm coming up, I think on nine years, right? Two, 14, six, seven, eight. Uh, it's probably, it's going to be, I think eight and a half years is what I'm at in trading. And, and I, must I be myself eight. as an eight and a half year trader, I still am like, damn, this market is hard. So I can only imagine what it could feel like if you've even been on this journey for a year or less than a year. So, well, Alex, let, dude, you, you tweeted yesterday, bro. Meta, which is Facebook for anybody who doesn't know is trading like a penny stock. Yeah. Dude. So that's the thing guys. And I, I was actually curious about, who is the biggest holder of Meta stock? And it's the Vanguard Fund. So all these fucking retirement people that have the <laughs> Vanguard ETFs and shit, bro, they're all fucked too, you know? Well, let me tell you something. I don't know a single person in my life outside of my stepdad who's actually up in this market, but he's the smartest mind I've ever known, worked for a company, handled billion dollar portfolios for the company. I won't say which company, but he he's the smartest man I've ever known in my life is my stepdad outside of him. Everybody I know down to friends, down to traders, down to family members that are other family members, bro, are fucking hurting in their long-term portfolios in any form. Like it's, it's crazy. It's not the year to make money, guys. It's the year to stay alive. So if you can stay alive, alive in this year, you will thrive for the rest of your trading career. So just remind yourself that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Yep. I mean, it's going to be a very small light if the CPI number goes down. I mean, if the CPI number is hot tomorrow. But in the meantime, <laughs> we'll see, dude. <laughs> in the meantime, we just got to stay patient. Because... I'm a little scared, Alex. I, I don't want to look at the markets tomorrow, bro. I'm nervous. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's better that you don't. Know. <laughs> the, the numbers got to be good. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I mean, look, I think either way, bro, it's going to sound crazy, but I think a lot of it is priced in. And I think if the shit gaps down and we have a bid, it's the reversal. But you never know. Well, I pray to God because looking at SPY at 300 is going to fucking hurt. I think a lot of the shit is priced in, bro, but it yeah, better I be. I don't know this market. I thought you, I thought you tweeted today that it wasn't priced. In yet. I think that was foreshadowing, bro. I think, I think it's going to be priced. That's what I think, bro. Because at, at the reality is I think everyone is so heavily positioned to the downside that if there's anything I know about the market, the opposite usually happens. And I think yep. that gap down, it does not, it's not a blind buy. But if that gap down starts to get a bid and starts to get a trend, I think that is the um, that is the signal. I agree. And Kevin, to say to say this, buy everything at three hundred, dude. How can you? Everybody bought at four hundred. Yeah, Everybody, all, everybody's crazy. money's locked up. Oh shit! Everybody got yeah, stuck buying. What a, what's that? I said, let's see what happens, bro. Let's see yeah. what happens. I'm super curious. Did you guys have any questions? I'm sorry. We, this is a Q and a, did you guys have any questions on anything we talked about so far? And now that we have Alex today, did, did you have any questions for him? I, I know we don't have him on too much on these, um, as it's usually bow, but bows out for the week moving. So did you guys have any questions so far, or we can just, we can just talk, we can just rant. <clears throat> I guess everybody's just soaking it up, dude. 
Yes. Best investment, Tosh, you said how, who's making the most money. The best investment, bro, is buying a 30-year treasury yield. Is what, it's the only fucking thing that's giving a positive investment. But even that is lagging behind inflation. So I've been talking. So I know a lot of people that uh, have their money managed by JP Morgan, private client, and Goldman Sachs. Yep. And even those fuckers that cheat at the game are still down, you know? <laughs> They're smug, dude. They're down, too. So when, so when someone that has, you know, 10, 20, 30 million dollars is having their money managed by Goldman Sachs and they're fucking down. I mean, shit, bro. Goldman Sachs manages Mitt Romney's money. They manage all these fucking rich ass motherfuckers' right. money. And I'm telling you, they have ways to cheat at the game. And if they're cheating and they still can't make money, everyone's fucked. That's where Alex. I know this is just funny to talk about. It's not really educational, as it's totally like conspiracy like thought. But I've always thought, dude, that because of that, like J.P. Morgan and like the smartest minds in the world get smoked, dude. Like. Like, I wonder, I've always wondered, bro, is there like three to five people that actually control the market and they're like the Rothschilds? Like, dude, I've always wondered the if there's like this. The person that controls the market is the Federal Reserve. I swear to God. And one person or one entity. It's like gotta that. be, dude. It's like, it's yeah. like, and it's like three people in that organization just sitting like, should we, yeah, should we hit the kill switch? Bro, what they do is when the market is down, they end up doing quantitative easing. They start buying up, buying up all these stocks at dead lows. And then when the market's at the top, they start selling everything at the top and they keep repeating the process over and over and over again. Well, and I think what's so beneficial about this learning lesson of people that n- never thought, you know, me and Joe, dude, dude, Joe and I were putting on webinars for a year straight saying, guys, we think a bloodbath is, and this was 5, 430, 420, 410, 370. We thought this was coming. And it's funny, dude, because when crypto, you know, let's just say Bitcoin, for instance, because that's the leader, just like spies the leader for the stock market. If Bitcoin can go from 69,000 to 18,000, the 18s where it's at right now, maybe 19,000, and SPY can go from, God, what was the absolute high of SPY? I want to I see what this actually was, like the total high. What was it, a year? I think it was like, yeah, 480, right? Guys, to 350, and this could only be the start. You have to understand now housing's coming down, and that was every single market across the board. I don't care if you trade Pokemon cards. I don't tra- care if you trade collectibles, Beanie Babies, stock market. When you chase... When you don't have the right entry on things, it is not only going to cause you losses, it's going to be a hellacious experience. If you're rushing into something that you don't know, um, how many times do you guys think I get calls a week or someone inquiring about MIC that says, hey, Tosh, I just found out about you guys. I saw the free training. It looks really cool. The only thing I know about the stock market is I went all in at Tesla at 900, you know, pre, the pre-split or 1,000. And I go, well, there you got a couple things to learn, my friend, because while you got into you got uh, a couple of things to learn called tax loss selling <laughs> that too. Uh, th- this is the point, guys. Most people who've heard about the stock market have a 401k or they're a normal dude who got a stock tip at a party and they throw absorbent amounts or large sums of money. It's something just maybe it is good. Maybe it's the most talked about name in history. But guys. I just showed you what Meta looks like. Meta is arguably what, Alex, top five of the world's biggest companies? Like top 10? Yeah, something like that. Dude, and, and they're absolutely smoke showed right now. Guys, think about it. Think about, I mean, I mean, dude, I'll, I'll be completely, I'm, I'm stuck a little bit in Meta. I, dude, I've got like, like a 180 average. Like I'm, I'm, I'm long-term invested in this, but I'm stuck in this, dude. But I'm not 400 stuck. I'm fucking, you know, I'm 180 stuff, 170s. But the point is, is yeah, portfolios are down. But then that's why we also have day trading. So it's like, guys, like figuring out where to put your money in this economy can very be, be very hard, as Alex said. What 30 year treasury rates are the best we got? And inflation still whooping that. It's, it's, it's going to take time, bro. But on the side note, time. side note, let's get to a QA, guys. Do you have any questions? Guys, question time. Like, who's got questions? Seriously, did you have questions about the watch list today? Did you? <laughs> Tom, find a better resolution of that. <laughs> that is so good. You man, guys better set your clock, set your reminders for 4 p.m. tomorrow, man. 4 p.m. tomorrow, guys. Very important. Market time. So at the close, we're releasing that video. You guys are going to see um, why Alex is just as good as he is. And I, you guys are really going to learn from it because I'm convinced, Alex, I'm truly convinced people don't learn by words. They learn by visual. I mean, a combination of both, obviously better, but 
I'm telling you right now, man, you guys are going to get so much value out of this because look, we could tell you what to do all day. We could show you the watches. You guys need to see this. You guys need to see these wonderful trades executed. So we're going to do that. Is that video going to release to the public or members? Uh, Alex, that's just members, right? All members. It's going to be public. Oh, it is. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, the 145,000 is public. And then all the other ones going forward are for lifetime members only. Exclusively. So, okay, cool. Yeah. So because I want plus, everyone to see that $145,000 trade to really understand what we are all about here. Got it. Got it. Got it. And what's funny is I'll bet that day you're, you're doing the Bed Bath & Beyond one, right? Yeah, Bed Bath. I'll bet. If you guys go to the MIC archive and go to that day of the watch list, Alex did exactly what the watch list said. And a lot of members made money as well, following the same plan. Um, oh, uh, here. Got a question about IMUX? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. I actually, one sec. Here, I'll go to the watch list as well. I'll read it. Uh, guys, I'll read this out. Uh, I must say, now that is now that it is broken, I will look for a bounce towards 850, 875, 9, 925 lines to scale short, a wide range. So use less size. That was the plan for uh, IMUX today. And uh, Alex just posted. Wait, oh, hold on one sec. We're too short. Nice, dude. Hit it. 872, 865. Can you guys see that? And uh, dude, that's sick. That's sick. But that's the plan. That's that's exactly what the plan was. Like every single day, guys, we're giving you the plan. So whether you get a starter on, whether you scale it, uh, sometimes also one thing, one more thing, Tosh, I'm gonna talk about in this video is yeah, the zombie market, man. I've been saying it every single day. Zombies are really, really active in this current market cycle. So because zombies are extremely, extremely active, um, I that's why I'm trying to walk away. Bro, you'd be crazy not to. People are getting ripped on, man. Things are coming. But that's why Steven, dude, I, that video I, that, or that post I just showed you of Steven when he traded today in the main trade. It's like you have to wait for these things to come back all the way to get a scalp that resists a safe scalp because these things are reclaiming. Dude, it's like, look at a guy that was like, oh, I'll just hit it at VWAP. Boom, like freaking teleport candle through VWAP, man. It's like you guys have to wait for the perfect entries. You have to be a sniper right now. And you have to, and like Alex said, you have to walk away. You have to be very disciplined. So size down and walk away a zombie. I completely agree, man. You guys can, look, you guys can use whatever size you want, but know what you're getting yourself into. Like Bao says, right? Like trade whatever you want, but have a plan. And if you're wrong, stop the F out because that's, now you're just going against your plan. If you just keep adding for no reason, or you're oversizing for no reason, et cetera, et cetera, or your um, counter time-based trading. So longing during a reversal hour or shorting right now in the last hour, especially the last 30 minutes, these are very dangerous tactics to take and build a good process around, you know? So it's very clear cut that way. Yeah. Zombie market, man, for sure. Guys make your money. And what's crazy too, is cause like, this is stuff you'll see in the zombie market as well. It's like not even just like the first pop. Like some, a lot of markets, how many times where we just get the first pop in the morning, dies out and then fades all day. So like the guy that's shorter right here got a great entry at 870, exactly per Alex's watch list, didn't take this and like squeezed out and got squeezed out and stopped out right here and covered. Like that's the thing you see in zombie markets, guys, is just more tries, right? So zombie back and then total zombie back, like throughout zombie hour and through the day, instead of just, okay, outer line hit, you know, fade off a little bit, be under VWAP, hit the pops under VWAP, fading volume, which we usually see with something like that. No, it's accompanied with reclaims later or more volume picking up. You can see the volume building up right here until it kind of gets exacerbated. And then, it, and then it's real trouble. It's real trouble for shorts. That's the market that we're in. Alex size down a big time for a reason or, or yeah, for a reason to protect himself from this market, hundred percent. Alex, what would you say your number one thought process is right now? Make the money as quick as possible and bounce as quick as possible. Size down. Yep. Instead of going for longer, bigger picture moves, take the easy money, start going long at 10 30 AM zombie times. And recognize that we're not really in a directional market where things just pick a directional day and just stick to that direction. We are in a chop market. And because we're in a chop market, uh, we just got to be in and out. That, that's what I just said right here, guys. What Alex is referring to is this, is, is this is that chop stuff. This is, this would usually just bleed out for a little while. And you may even have it, you know, down here, I'll just draw it actually. 
Um, you may have, how many times have you seen this where you get another photo? Well, how many times where you make the money, Tosh, and then the stock tanks, and you're like, okay, I'm just going to get back in at a bounce oh. zombie times, and then zombie times goes back to high day. Alex, that's what I'm saying, dude. I think that when you're a brand, like how many times does this chart do this and you have a second try at it? Dude, you messed up your first try here. Not you, Alex. I just mean the guy that, you know, shorted here, didn't pay himself. They get squeezed out because he's like, oh, fuck. Well, is this just going to keep going? Because now we're getting near zombie hours. The zombie rule is freaking real, bro. The zombie rule is, the problem is that a lot of people, they don't follow the zombie rule for a month. They don't follow the zombie rule for two months and they make money, they make money, they make money. And then all of a sudden they, the zombie rule starts to kick them in the ass and they're like, Oh wait, what the hell just happened? I was making money. Yeah. I mean, you're going to make money yeah. nine times out of 10, but the one time that the zombie rule comes into a market cycle where it lasts one month, you know, you're dead. Yeah. And, and if it does chop you up every now and then guys, like Alex just said, the market really changes and you're not getting away with much and you do lose on a couple ones and they kind of hinder you a little bit. Learn from it. Now know what market you're in. So you got to take me, that man. first trust, scalp. Trust me, trust me. Dude, I, I'm telling you when Alex lays down the watch list guys. So let me, let me actually get rid of this real quick. When Alex lays down the watch list and he says, and I'll just ballpark this real quick or where was it? Alex, you post right here. I'll, I'll draw the parameters. Alex wants 850 on the initial push, which is right here, upwards of 925. If it can get there, obviously within reason of scales. So you're not just, you know, uh, shorting right here and right here, guys. Like you're scaling this. So this is the parameters of the scale zone that we want, which I can actually highlight for you guys if you want. It's a choppy market, bro. Like the yep. market's not easy. So like rather than the market already being hard, why you make it even harder on yourself? That's, that's what I'm saying. So, so guys, instead of trying to get a home run trade out of this, if you can get your initial scalp in the first, this is it. This is the money maker in this market. You coming back and trying to hit this and that, that's the hard part. That's where you're beating kind of a dead horse or just, it's just, you're trying to squeeze so much out of this lane and that's going to, you know, poke you in the eye. You know, you're going to get some pulp in your eye. Just get that first one. Yeah, you know it is also Tosh. I think a big thing is like during these slow times of market action, it's a good reason for us to kind of double down on our education. And I think these live trades are coming out at the perfect time where it's slow in the market. Well, this is the time to kind of refine your craft and you are going to have the best tool to refine your craft, which is, you know, live trading, man. Bro, 1000%. And guys, this is actually, believe it or not, a market like this is one of the number one reasons why we say, don't quit your day job. Dude, we don't want you guys sitting in front of a computer forcing bullshit all day. Like, dude, make your immediate scalp that Alex made on IMUX today. Go to your job and you don't even have to worry about it. Now, I want to post this, Brian, real quick on YouTube. This is brilliant, Brian. Yeah, this is, no, this is perfectly said. He goes, I'm not a scalper, but I find myself scalping this market works wonders. Sometimes overstay my welcome and give up a chunk or, or much worse losses. Brian, that is the state of the market that we're in. So we're not getting away with much. It, it's what we call, if you're not, it sounds like you're not a member, Brian. So what we're referring to as zombies is zombies is a market where the volume picks back on it comes out of nowhere it comes back and these stocks come back from the quote-unquote dead and this is where being a long-term position holder or a swing trader is a little bit hindering this is a this is a snappy market man you got to get the ideal entry take the first or second initial scalp and then bro go along your way and wait until the market is a little bit more forgiving to do those longer term trades right so this is the stuff that we teach. And I think you could really benefit if you're not necessarily a scalper to also learn that skill set. So when we are in markets like this, Brian, you come in and you're like, oh, now I understand scalping. So when the market does kind of offer these very quick, these quick chops, you know how to navigate correctly, you know? I mean, guys, it's, it's, it's funny, man. If I go to the guys, look, we created the, our, our bow created this so long ago. You know why there's a fish on here? There's a fish on here because you are a fish in price action, just trying to swim throughout the current and know where there's an edge, know where the sharks are, know where the squeezes are, know where the whales are, et cetera, et cetera. Like there's a reason why the trading fish is a fish, <laughs> you know, like you need to know how to navigate these fucking waves, dude. So knowing that this is the only thing you need in this market right now, this first initial scalp, which Alex had on his watch this, and not to be a greedy bastard and actually take the money and pay yourself so you don't get this tsunami of a wave to take that little guppy out. That's what we're talking about. Or if you do come back, 
late day like Steven did, and you are looking for a nice scalp late day, you didn't get caught up in this long journey upwards in this squeeze market. You came back at the outermost high, which I think Steven was hitting this in the nine. In fact, let me go to the main trading chat because I pulled up a really, really good example from him. Um, I think the key is, guys, don't be discouraged. If you're following the rules and following um, the process, it'll work. But just in case it does not work and you're still red as part of the process is don't beat yourself up. Guys, nine line, hole and half dollar. What is Steven doing? He's waiting for this to squeeze right back up and he started hitting into it at, the, at this area. You guys see that? That is not getting chopped up in here. That's not being early. He waited for a sniper entry. That's what we teach. And that, and that is what is needed in this market are sniper entries. As Tom just said, greed kills, man. Greed is greed is brutal in a market like this, bro. Absolutely smoked. So, is that is that clear for you guys? Do you have any Do you have any questions on that or this market on what we just said? I like to give enough time for people to kind of think it out and have questions. But and it's funny because some days there's endless questions, and some days people I think just kind of listen. So, yep. <laughs> you know, it's funny, Alex. I've always seen. I'm gonna say that I'll say this publicly. I've always seen so fewer questions when you're on a webinar. Because when you come on, I swear to God, people just listen. Like, they just listen, dude. I'm okay with that. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like Val's on here. They're asking questions all day. But when you come on here, it's like dead side. It's like it's like the, the lone gunman arrived in the saloon, and everybody's like, what's he going to do? <laughs> I love it. Oh, shit. Alex is that is that lone gunslinger. Um, guys, any literally any question on anything. So like what's going on in the market, you know, um, how you can navigate. <laughs> yeah. Ben knows what I'm talking about. I've seen it every webinar. Alex will come on like every couple of months. And when he does, it's like, you can hear a pin drop, dude. <laughs> coming tomorrow, bro. Live trade is coming tomorrow, bro. I think I wanted to wait for that. I think so too, man. Uh, Alex, we can wrap this up early unless you have anything that you kind of want to add brother. Now we can wrap it up guys. We can wrap it up. Um, just be on the lookout. More live trades coming. Um, more day trading vlogs coming. Um, yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm trying to I'm trying to spice up the content for MIC. I'm trying to do stuff that's kind of fun for me. You know, teaching my friends how to trade is fun. You know, trying to record these live trades is fun. So yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna be you know posting up doing crazy stuff, but like a day in my life is you know waking up, going to trade a little bit, and then you know grab some food and doing MIC stuff all day long, you know? So you guys are going to see all that. Yeah. My, my favorite thing dude, still to this day is Alex will have his best day ever guys. It's like the day that he had like AMC and I'm like, Alex, what are you doing to celebrate man? He's like, dude, I just fucking got Wendy's. I'm like, yeah, I think I got me. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. Dude, I think, yeah. Every day that you have a really good day, bro. I swear to God, you had like Carl's Jr. or Wendy's. Like, I'm like, so you make a million dollars or you make three quarters and all you want is a burger. <laughs> Right now it's three forty, and I want a beer. So, <laughs> what are you drinking, dude? I got some Corona in the fridge, dude. You are you a Corona with lime guy or just a Corona? Corona with lime, bro. You crazy, bro? No, 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 no. Like a I'm real lime, lime, not that fake shit. You can't trust those people, bro. No, 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 bro. Not no a real lime. Like you cut it up and put it in. <laughs> Yeah, bro. What the fuck? What other limes are there? <laughs> I'm talking about because there's like Bud Light with lime, bro, where it's like an added. Oh, no, 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 no. That's fake news, bro. Oh, dude, that shit is so sickening, dude. It's like it's it's like adding like coloring. Bud Light and lime, dude. Get the hell out of here. Bud, let me get my Bud Light with lime, dude. Uh, hell. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, here's a, here's a cool trick. I, I haven't drank it in three years, but not because like I was an alcoholic or anything. I just I'm just super health conscious, like in every way, shape, or form, and I miss it a lot. But um, I was a big there's beer. Nothing good about alcohol, bro. Bro, let me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. This is the most recommended thing on the planet. If you're a beer drinker, I don't know if you're into this, Alex, bro, beer salt. I used to carry around one of these with me, like almost every time I went to lunch. So they're like, they're like pocket size, bro. They're like two inches. Whatever Dude, you do, don't show that to Bal. Bro, if Bal sees this, it's game fucking over. <laughs> so 
go drink, go drink your beer, bro. I think, I think tomorrow is going to be super fun guys. I swear to God, when we tell you as a community, as an organization, as a company, as friends, as literally personal friends, as educators, whatever form that we are trying to make this as best as possible, or the industry is as good for you and more efficient. We're not kidding. So please, 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 please. I'm like begging you guys to watch these live trade videos that we've poured a lot of work in this, especially Alex and the, you know, the website, what we've done and Joe Kelly and the whole team and, and give us the feedback we want to hear. Like we really want to hear if you like them and if it's making a difference, because if we produce something, especially on the content side, like these webinars or whatever, that, that really makes a difference for you, it, we, we got to hear it because now we're going to double and triple down on things like that. So, you know, I, I've incorporated something new every single week. I love doing the MIC highlight reel. I'm really good at compartmentalizing. Yeah, I'm really good at organizing. Sold. I have the beer sold on my desk right now. Probably got you do not have a fucking beer sold, bro. Pixar, it didn't happen. <laughs> you got the beer sold and the 12 gauge, dude. You do not have beer sold. I had no idea you know about that, bro. Molly that, does not screw around, bro. That <laughs> is great. It's so funny. Oh my god. Well, guys, last thing, and I'll just say this because I don't know if I said this before, but um, if you have any questions, again, just here's the number on the website main page. Book a call. Click this link. It's going to literally just take you to an order form. You can book a call with me. Go to my Google Calendar. Um, we'll answer your questions. Then hopefully. If you feel like MIC is a good place for you, then um, we'll give you the confidence to at least figure that out. And I think it really would be because um, it's a fun ass time, man. We're, we're, we're a great community. So guys, hit us up, text. Um, if you have any questions, we'll get that through. Look for the video tomorrow and we will see you next week. Cool. See you, Alex. Bye.